Hello everyone, my name is Zishan Beg, and uh, in this video I will demonstrate uh, the how to perform a logical delete in ADF and uh, uh, what is actually logical delete it, it is actually uh, when you don't don't want to physically delete the row from the database instead uh, update a flag in the background and you can do this for audit purpose or something and for this I have created a simple example and it's uh, has a two table tab MST and tab DET a simple primary key with a description and a four uh, columns like created by the name of user date modified by modified date and same goes here but uh, in the detail table I have a column called delete flag and we will update this flag in case of delete and uh, same here created by created date modified modified date and uh, when user will perform delete it will update uh, on this entity actually it will take is as an update so I have prepared few steps what to do first we will add a history columns in the entities how to do this then we will add a view criteria to display only a delete flag n equal to n rows and when we then we will perform some delete logically and then we will like uh, update the when user will perform delete on this entity it will update the modified by of master entity and modified date so frame uh, adf is very powerful framework and it's provide a very good um, declarative method to perform these operations so let's look uh, how to do this first we have to add the history column so i will double click this tab detail attributes and i need the username store here i will go in the entities and i will take this history column this is created by so i will select is as are created by by default a username comes here same I will do for the rest of created on you can add your own history columns and uh, maybe I will cover in some other post another video and uh, this is modified on so this is done when we will perform some operations any date uh, so these uh, attributes will automatically populate it. I have a delete flag entity and I have a default value n automatically so now the next step is to create a view criteria on the queries I will go to tab detail in the query tab I will I already created a view criteria press this plus button and you can delete flag not equal to y and I have queue execution mode as both so when I perform delete it will or delete from the memory also and it will not uh, display it and uh, this is why and the other thing we have to do is to go to the application module and this is instance of our detail table I will press edit and from available tabs just select this as a selected this view criteria so this view criteria will be available uh, every time uh, when you create any rows or something do any operation this view criteria will be active so my next is to write code on the detail table so how we will do this we will go to the uh, our entity tab detail and we need to create a uh, Java classes for this uh, entity implementation class uh, Java tab press plus and you have to select this generate entity object class and select all methods in the this class has uh, now click this 
now the all accessors of our uh, attributes are already here and uh, the perform uh, what we can do is we have to work with the two methods first is the remove method this whenever we perform delete this method fires automatically so we can do some of our operation operations so first is when the row re removes we have to update the flag of delete to y so what we will do this here we will set delete flag as y so this is our first step set delete flag you can find it here automatically it's uh, created as an accessor in the same class and next step is the do dml do dml method actually uh, when you perform insert update delete on the entity it fires so what here we have to do is to instead of delete we have to update our entity so this logic will works only for this tab detail entity so what uh, just to save some time i've already written this code just to format it so now you can see of if operation is dml delete then perform in operation dml update else we will keep the simple super method here so we will compile this this is done from this part and now we have to do the last part that uh, we will update the history column of the master table so we will go to the association property here and in the under the relationship behavior we have to take this composition association and take this update top level history column and for better option to avoid some uh, entry errors you can use this take also main our thing is update top level history column this is done let's test our case i hope i did everything okay okay now i will go here and i will perform you can see created by automatically hello master and i'm doing i'm detailed delete flag is no automatically it's coming and i have successfully entered one row here now i will enter one more row in the detail second row commit here again see you can see the modified date is updating and now we will delete this row first i will show you how it's in the you see i have two rows here already so now i will delete from the business component and now i will commit you can see only one row is visible here but inside the database it's actually actually two and the flag is updated to no for the second row and our dt row is oh sorry y y actually is avoiding so det row is deleted from the database and second row is displayed where delete flag is no you can see here so hope you like the video found it useful and uh, feel free to comment you can download the sample code from the blog post thanks for watching